And on Wednesday, just off the Ramata Bypass Road in the Curzal District, a ceremony was held to officially inaugurate the completion of the Philip Golson Highway from Mile 24 to the northern border, as well as the Ramata Bypass. Minister of Infrastructure, Development and Housing, Honorable Julius Espat, spoke about the project and about money they were able to save. Espat provided a list of other projects they were able to complete with the funds saved. I know how eagerly awaited this upgrading project was. The people have clamored for its upgrade for many years, particularly this Remate Bypass Road, which was once a dusty, unpaved road during the dry season and mud pit during the rainy season, as Honorable Florencio had mentioned in his presentation. To be honest, the road has changed the landscape in such a way that I feel like I am somewhere else. A colleague of mine drove up to Corozal with his family one night, and when they entered the newly constructed portion of the Philip Golson Highway, the Remate section, his young daughter said, Wow, Daddy, the road is bright like when we went to States. It really is such a pleasure to drive on now. I am proud to say that this road project was completed within budget and within the allocated time. As a matter of fact, we are able to do much more than the scope, the original scope of works listed under the contracts. Savings of excess of 15 million Belize dollars allowed us to widen and pave an additional 38 kilometers, further improve climate resiliency by raising five kilometers of roadway and installing an additional 36 concrete culverts, bringing the total new culverts constructed to 141. We were able to construct a new bridge at the Biscayne village and create safe zones to all school locations. We also managed to be able to pave streets in the Orange Walk district and streets in the Corozal district. And all of this was done with the savings that we did. Prime Minister John Bersanio commended Minister Spat and his team on the job well done and on the savings they made. This is a $93 million project. And $93 million in a small economy like us is a huge amount of money. But when Belizeans see that we use this money efficiently, um, then Belizeans feel proud about what we're doing. Two weeks ago, we were at the Hallover Bridge, and there we, again, with savings, and I remember speaking to to the former president, to, to, to Leon, and I told Leon, Leon, you have to come to Belize and see what we have done at the Halova Bridge. Uh, we managed to cut that project in half, about $30 million, and yet have, um, what is it, the fifth or sixth largest bridge in, the, in Central America, M. M. Julius? So we built the sixth largest bridge in Central America for less money. And it is something that it's proud, that we're proud about. But it shows that the Belizeans, ingenuity and really resiliency that when we put ourselves to do something it can be done and we see that every single day across the length and breadth of this country